Hello everyone and welcome back to A Wandering Orc Plays Morrowind. As promised, today we are going to find out more about the Nereverine by talking to Sharon Gromosgold at the Mages Guild, which we are here. But first, I noticed something peculiar in my journal entry, um, and I wanted to share it with you guys. You recall the barbarian that we cured of his creepy disease that he got from some witch because they were too friendly? Though his faults are too great to number, the oaf is nothing if not grateful. He has given me his fur helm, which he calls the ice cap. It reeks of barbarian. <laughs> okay, so, now that I have shared that with you because I just absolutely love it, it reeks of barbarian. What a horrible thing to say. I'm so... I don't know. It's so prejudiced in my journal. It's worth noting I had nothing but nice things to say about Hormar, though. Alright, so let's go find Grow Musgulb. From where do you hail, friend? That's none of your business. We don't even know each other. Any I just time now. Did some shady things. Ah. Uh, to her. I've I've done some quests for the Major's Guild already. Welcome, and friend. For this chick right here, actually, who's trying to climb up in the ranks in the seediest way possible. But see, everybody thinks I'm a friend yes, here. Ah, here we go. Citizen. Sean Gromosgob, well met. No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh, you are one of Chaos Associates? That is a different matter. Chaos and I have a very satisfactory arrangement, and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. Don't ask. I don't know why I'm doing these voices. I just kind of have to. The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Leville Andrano. You'll find it in the Andrano ancestral tomb. But take care not to upset the natives. The Denma have some peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy, and take grave objection to the unauthorized tomb visits. I think... Is that the tomb where I fought the shade really poorly? I feel like it was. The tomb is south of Pelagiad, just off the road, before you reach the fork where the road goes northwest towards Sedanin and southwest to Vibic. You may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword and maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Alright, well I'm gonna try it and I am pretty damn sure that that is the exact same place I got my ass kicked when I first left Sedanin. Uh, Sedanin was the very initial uh, village you know, with the Silt Strider and all the mean people. What is people. this about, Dunmer? Don't be so rude. Unnecessary. Yes. Okay, so we are going to... South of Pelagiad, just off the road. Oh god, I do know where this is. So the sword that she gave me... I'm gonna see if I can hit it with my fist this time though, because when I first did this, I had no clue what the hell I was doing with a monk. I I might need enchanted gloves or something, so I might wind up using this sword. It's gonna be a long fight, I think. Look at that goofy little match. I love them, they just float around and dangle their little tentacles. They're just chillin'. I'm not gonna lie, I miss Wine Sot right now, looking back and seeing him sort of stuttering along behind me. Maybe I'll write a song for him sometime. I don't know that I've ever traveled this road in the daytime before. Or maybe it's just been so long I can't remember. I know this. I know this part. Hell yeah, did Yay, athletics! I'm so athletic. I, I think that just means that I can run a little faster. I have found online a few places uh, people recommend starting with high athletic skill or, or something, whatever you make a character in this, but hell. 
I made this character forever ago, so we're just gonna stick with it. Besides, I love it. It was so random, but... It's definitely fun being a monk. I guess I could have fast-traveled to Pelagiad. But you never know what you'll encounter on the way. I really don't want to miss anything. I knew it! I knew it the second I saw your butt. Oh, you know what I just realized? Winesot's not here anymore. The naked adventurers are done and gone. They're just a part of my life that's over, so I think it's probably time to put on some of my awesome clothes that I bought forever ago. Now, do I want to be sagey or slow falling? That is a cool amulet. Amulet of recall. I think I have to do mark or something first. I am really not sure. Let's see what we got. No longer naked. I have a special... Okay, here we go. Velos robe. Restore health 10 points on self. I don't have to even be wearing these, I don't think, to use them, but that one's definitely cool looking. We're gonna go with, like, the sagey kind of look. And barefoot, of course. I do have expensive shoes. I only have expensive things. I'm so fancy. But, yeah, we'll, we'll go barefoot. I probably should have healed up first. Nah. We're all good. I will now, though. Let's rest until healed. I think it said Pelagiod was this way. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention, that weird thing. Okay, so Pelagiod is not that way. Pelagiod is up here. I'm so glad I went back to check that sign. That would have been... I don't know. It could have been kind of cool to find out where we went... where we ended up. I'll travel that way someday. But for now... Oh god, I love scribs. I they just it's like always mating season for scribs. Always bumping that butt. And you know what too earlier I thought of a little song for scribs, but it was it was stupid. I probably shouldn't even sing it. It's like no I don't want no scrib. A scrib is a thing that can't mating cause. But anyway, it wouldn't even matter because I do actually want a scrib. I think that they are awesome. And I would definitely have a pet one if I had a house in Morrowind. Although, I would imagine it'd keep you up a lot at night. Something all the time. It's so weird to actually know where I'm going. Now, I wonder if this is it. Mm. Nope. That's definitely not it, but I think I'm gonna check it out anyway. Because, uh, that's, <sighs> you know, it's calling to me. to self. Oh my god! This place! Oh, I forgot. I think I already set off this trap, so... No, I didn't. Now I set off this trap. So I'm gonna do something really weird. Alright. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Mm. 
gonna use this. Use Mara's gift to heal up. I am going to, if I have any, yep, I do. I'm gonna summon Mr. Skeletal. Eh, and fail at it, apparently. Screw it. Let's do it. We're doing it. Lady. Shouldn't have insulted me. Is this because I killed your dog? That was a really long time ago. I mean, I understand, but... She looks kind of badass. I mean, maybe not when she's, like, laying there, but... Oh, crap. Is she dead? I think she's dead. She has another dog in here. I guess you can call him a dog. It's sort of like an iguana dog. Oh. God, wow. Oh. A sign. If there was ever a sign that I have improved, this is it. If you recall, this was incredibly hard for me to do before. Ah, her curus is worth a little bit. I'll take it with me. The saber is worth a bit, too. I'll take that, too. I'm not stripping people down anymore. I'm no longer a naked adventurer, so I don't really roll that way. Everything's just changed. I'll save it and take a little nap in this grody bedroll. Oh, in theory. I wonder if I can put this candle in my hand. <gasps> I can! Wow, does that actually light stuff up? Um, what is that? Nope. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. You, Enwa. I had to look that up too. I guess this thing wouldn't really be an Enwa. It's like just a crude name for foreigner. Damn. Kicking ass now. Got some rat meat that I don't really want. Okay, so we got a door here and a door uh, back in the next room. We're gonna do this one first. You hey, Enma. are you friendly? No. <gasps> he you just called me an Enma. Yeah, twice. I heard you the first time. Yeah. I will take your gold. Ugh. Fashion disaster. I would take that pillow, though, but can't do it. Sultries. Okay. Kwama eggs. Gonna have a great breakfast from this. Oop. Yes, can I do this? Let me... Where did it go? Here we go. Put this in my hand. That... Dude, that doesn't do shit. Oh, except make me over encumbered. Screw it. Don't need that. Don't need that. I'm actually- I did a Mage's Guild quest and I'm not sure if I got rid of that stuff or not. I'll be selling that ice cap. It smells like Barbarian, I can't keep it on me. And what was the other thing? Aha! Screw that. Okay. So, we're good. I'm not even sure what I'm doing here. I kind of just came in and started killing people. Stupid. Don't call me stupid. Oh, that's me. Yeah. What's she got? I don't like that shirt, but I really love the the cool patchwork robe that I've got on right now, so. Ooh. Nope. Don't even need him. 
Still enemies, huh? Oh, a drum! It's not worth much. And I will take that. Of red amulet. Alright, so not much in this place. Time to head to the other door. I hope you guys can see this okay. Oh, here we go. Are you gonna call me stupid too? Right in the face. Oh, right in the boobs. I thought I heard somebody else. <laughs> yeah. Right in the chest cavity. Okay. What do you guys got for me? A fat loot! I picked up some fat loot from that bitch, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Fat loot. That makes me happy. Okay. And the other guy didn't really have much of anything. Ooh. Wow. <gasps> Candlestick bamboo blue. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I got this. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm gonna have to rest before I can use my magic anyway. Ooh. Oh, I am taking that for later. It's probably some good re- Oh my god, seriously, I've done it again! These people are just chilling out in this cave, like, drinking wine and... They drank all of it and reading, and I just come in and kill them all. See, why couldn't we just, like, talk it out, you know? It didn't have to be this way. Alright. So let's get our little... Got it here. Aha. Okay. Oh, so fancy. All right, for three gold. Whatever. Let's get out of here and we'll go back to our original quest. We're going to take out that shade that gave me such a hard time last time. I had a little uh, hope for that now. That this worked out so well. The scourge of Morrowind. That's what I feel like right now. Walk in and pop some motherfuckers in the head. Just trying to hide out in some caves. Oh man, that lady's still there. Oh, it's been a while. Did you did you hook up with that dude? What can I do for you, friend? Soon I will be with Milos and all will be well. That was actually quite some time ago, but man, look at her glove. Only one glove. It's a style. That's fancy. Alright, now I think I'm just going to skip ahead to, um, 
to the actual cave here, even though I don't think it's that far away. Oh! Oh, dog. Oh. Dog with breathing issues. Asthmatic dog. Asthmatic lizard dog? Sorry, asthmatic lizard dog. Okay. about it, I don't think I could have fast traveled to Pillage Yacht after all. I mean, they don't have a silt strider or anything. I do think there are other ways of fast travel in this game, though. I'm just not positive what they are. Mark and Recall, I need to start using those. Almost there. Oh, can I use my blue candle? None of my candles are ever lit. That's the point. Unless I want to dual wield candles. Oh, I can't. Oh, that would be kind of fun, though, just walking around with some candles. Smushing the wicks in people's eyes. I'm a sick bastard. Alright. I remember this place. A little nutch dancing in the trees up there. I'm gonna rest because I can't see anything. Oh. Resting here is illegal. I'm too close to some kind of settlement, though I can't tell what it is. Is this back here? I can't see anything at all. I think it's there, but I can't see a thing. Craziness. Score one for the memory banks. And this is it. This is the tomb that we've been waiting for. So here we go. Let's see if we can finally beat this shit. Oh, wait. Right there. Oh, yeah. I can punch you in the chest cavity. Is it doing anything? I'm going to knock you down. Do you even get fatigued? Did I save? I don't know if I... Oh, yes. This works. This is amazing. Where'd you go? Oh, that was it. That was amazing. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, if I could do a victory dance right now. I remember this guy. I took his pants. Okay. Um. I am going to pay for a blessing now because I actually understand what that does. Do I even have anything? Veloth's Indwelling. Oh, I have Veloth's Robe on right now. This feels very fitting. Okay. Alright, so last time that shade, that creepy-ass shade came out of there and then scared me all the way up the stairs. This is awesome. Okay. So what are we looking for here? She wants me to retrieve the skull of Laville Andrano. Ooh, that's kind of like a dick move. Not to upset the natives. 
Well, let's see if we can... There's that creepy sound again. Let's see if we can find that skull. Mm -mm. Ugh. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm tap dancing down the hallway. I hear some shit in here. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, what are you? You are terrifying, that's what you are. Oh lord. Oh, did you see him get back up? No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, there's something else attacking me. What is it? Oh my god. It's shooting arrows. Oh, I can't take it. No. Mr. Skettle, why would you do this to me? I'm gonna take you out. Oh, this is the most terrifying thing. Okay. Alright, he's not a mummy, though. Probably need to heal myself. Take a moment. Oh my god. How could that woman send me down here? Is he even falling down? I can't even fall down. There we go. He's rough, man. Yes! Oh. Okay, so... Morrowind tombs are creepy as hell. And very poorly lit. I am over encumbered. All of these things are related. I'm getting rid of this stuff. Oh, cool! Is that why you carry them around? So you can just throw them on the ground and light stuff randomly? Let's see what else we got here that we can toss overboard. Do I like this common robe? Mm, not so much. I kind of like my sagey robe, so... I'll get rid of that common robe. Oh my god. I'm gonna put another candle right here. And that only makes it creepier. Yay. I would like to rest. I have a feeling it's going to tell me that I can't. So I might have to exit this place and then rest, unless... No. Can't rest here. That was seriously... That was... Whew. I save a lot when I'm nervous. Okay, we're going back in. We are gonna find the skull of Androno, even if we have to kill everything in here a second time. Dude, can't they just like make these things stay dead? They really need to start burning things if they're just gonna come back to life like this. I'm taking that candle back. Oh, wait a second. What? What is that? I don't know if I actually want to jump down there. It appears to be the only place that I can go in this room unless there is a like a trap door somewhere. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. This could be bad. <gasps> I either heard something breathe or that was me breathing. Okay, I don't need to take that shit. I'm not touching anything that I don't have to take. <gasps> this is a story about scribs. Until one of the scribs lifting up its head in agony cried out to Sothosil, Please, please have mercy, little boy, for what is sport to you is suffering and death to us. Oh, this is super depressing. I'm gonna take it. Is this like... Okay. Now, what are these? <gasps> Stop making noises! Creepy thing. Alright. 
Oh, there's nothing there. Is anybody else creeped out right now? Because I cannot handle this. <gasps> Alright, is this just... Did I seriously get stuck down here? With no way out? Well, that's what quick saving's for. Oh my god! I hear it! Oh! Okay. I I'm calm. I'm calm. Everything's cool. Oh. Bastard. Just pop out of me from the darkness like that. Did I just break his rib? I think I did. Oh! He's smashing this guy to pieces. Go down, go down. I'm just gonna have to keep picking up this candlestick and like drop it out on the ground then. It's a little awkward, but but I can do it. Okay. I wish. Okay. Seriously, again, why did that woman tell me to go down here? What a bitch. No candles or anything. Oh, okay, good. Phew! We are almost out of here. Oh, fantastic. You can see him coming through! I love it. Let's take this guy out. He's gonna be one of those creepy things again, though. Come on, Bodie. Oh, I see you going ass. I actually she didn't have a badass. Oh, God. I am over encumbered. You did this to me. But I can still hit you, so. <laughs> I'll take your petty soul gem. You monster. Oh. I am like diseased or something now though. Resist fire, fortify magica. Never mind. I am blessed. Nope. Not creepy at all. Perfectly normal. Oh, God. Cool. Restore luck. Native Godzilla and Bone Meld Helm. That is worth a lot. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna have to get rid of something else. Resist Shock Bargain. Restore luck cheap. Alright, what can I get rid of? Hmm. Let's see. Alright, so I'm a little bit lighter. I know it's weird, I just thought I'd try walking through there just in case it was a trap or something. <clears throat> Not a trap, like a secret door. Ooh. 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 15. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I'm gonna drop my little candle on the floor again. There's gotta be a better way to do this. I'm sure that there is. I might look it up, but... Okay. Give me back my candle. Oh! <gasps> That's 
it's oh i'm so glad we dropped the candle otherwise we might not have seen there is the skull of andrano what do we got dagger of judgment and eh, it's worth crap all right we got the skull let's get out of here with hopefully very few incidents this was the most terrifying of quests. I cannot see. Again. Okay. I need a light spell. Maybe I have one. I'm gonna try to summon Mr. Skeletal again because you know, it'd be nice to have. Oh yeah, that definitely worked. You're a little terrifying, but I'm glad that you're mine. So let's keep going, Mr. Skeletal. Now I know that little clicking is his. At least that one is. <gasps> yeah, yeah, but no, I'm not alone this time. You're down. You're gonna get your butt kicked. I have to be really careful not to hit Mr. Skeletal though because. I am pretty sure he will hit me back. Wah. Wah. Wait, is he dead? Aw, oh, see? See what I mean? What's the point? Mr. Skeletal, screw you. I hope I can at least kill him. Oh god, another one? Screw you guys. Alright, so he's useless. Like, totally useless. Is this guy alive? <sighs> Did I die? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well I'm not gonna summon Mr. Skeletal for that again. And I will drop the candle on the ground right away. So I think my new plan will be, if I do summon Mr. Skeletal, then I will just send him in and just let him do all the work. Alright buddy, I know there's a second one of you. Come on out. Come on out. Hmm. At least I thought there was. Nordic Battle Axe, Journeyman Armorer's Hammer, Repair Prongs. I don't even use weapons, so screw all that. Got some bone meal. Maybe someday I'll do some alchemy. But for now, that is kind of useless to me. it was like the ghost of my summons. Oh, there he is. Come on down. I'm actually gonna pull him around the corner here so I can see him better. Yep. He's one of the tough ones. He's got that armor on. I don't know if it makes a difference whether I like hit him in the head or not. He, okay, I thought he was one of the tough ones, but he kind of went down sort of easy, so that works. Not gonna take anything except my candlestick. Hopefully we are almost out of here. Ooh, I hear a little skeleton on the other side of that door. 
Now I finally know what that noise is. It's great. He ran out. He was so excited to meet me. He's like, here, look at my new hammer. Wait, what are you doing? Alright. I think I wasn't supposed to upset the locals, but... If these guys are the locals, then that was a little bit impossible. Violet Prentice. Sure. What's this? Fire salts! Alright, the whispering gets a little heavier there, so I'm out. Tossing down a candle. Seriously, is this place huge or- <gasps> I am almost to the exit. Yes! Okay. So I need to loop around to the right there. Sorry, I will definitely look up some kind of way to light this stuff. Okay. Are we out? We are out! That is it. Let's get the hell out of this dungeon. Goodbye, all the creepy things. Never again. Oh. Oh. Shake it off. Alright, I'm running all the way back because, again, I didn't use any kind of marker recall. I completely forgot about it. I only just learned about it on accident at that, so... Yep, I will see you back at Balmora. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Thanks, bud. Alright, so I wound up actually just traveling to St. Anine because it was right there and then just taking the Salt Strider to Balmora. Made a lot more sense. So let's go turn this into Shograz Nuzbub or whatever her name is. And we will get the information that we want. I had to turn the gamma up because I couldn't see anything at all, so I'm just going to turn it back down. Because I really love the lighting in this game. It's just sometimes things get so dark. Here we are at the Mage's Guild. It's good to be back. Out of that Is dank tomb. Is there me? Nothing from you, thank you. But I shall keep you informed if anything I don't know if I can changes. help you, but I'll try. She's the one I'm like trying to How screw interesting. over. interesting. A tourist. Strength is a virtue, friend. Welcome. All right. Now, I yes, again. Is this about the errand that you are doing for me? Oh yeah. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. Thank you. Now, as I promised, I'll answer your questions on the Naravarine cult. Go ahead. The Ashlander cult believes that the long-dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor the ancient promises to the tribes. According to the legend, the prophesied Nerevarin will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all outlanders from Morrowind. Oh, that's me. Both temple and empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for imperial or temple law. Here. Take this copy of my notes on the topic for chaos. Why, thank you, ma'am. That was very, very helpful. Nerevar is a first age hero of the Dunma people. He was great he was a great general and leader. He helped form the first council and united the Dunma houses against foreign invaders aided by the traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Marowin's enemies and Red Mountain, but died in battle, etc. etc. She doesn't say that, but I feel like she should. 
All right, cool. All right, so we learned a little bit about the Nereverine, apparently a reborn hero who's going to get rid of all the Outlander. Oh, it's kind of like a weird racist cult then. They just want to get rid of everyone who's not from Morrowind. I suppose I could probably spare a moment or two. Very anti-imperial. That's probably why Chaos even wants to know about what it. Is this knows about, what these people Denver? are up to. Oh, when will people stop yes, being mean to me? Alright, so let's go back to Chaos and turn in our quest. That we have worked so hard to complete. We even did a random dungeon in the meantime, just cause. He just stands on bridges in the rain. Be cool. Go see shirtless chaos. Please, by all means, I'm listening. Why, thank you, kind sir. Are you here to discuss your orders, Annalise Street Feed, or is there something else you want? And these are Sean's notes on the Reverend Cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blade's Apprentice, Annalise Streetfeet. I'd like to take some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. So if you'd like to get a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I have new orders for you. I've actually been doing freelance adventuring this whole time, and I will probably continue to do it, but I will take your orders after I find out what Blade's Apprentice is. I am an apprentice. And I get two spell scrolls. That's awesome. Divine Intervention will recall you to the nearest Imperial Shrine. Ooh, yay. And the Elm Civi Intervention will recall you to the nearest Temple. Oh, that is super handy. They come in handy for a quick getaway. No, no, Annalise Street Feet. No thanks needed. You're doing great work. Now, get out of here and let me read. Wow. Okay. Let's check out what the new orders are, though, because I am curious. I've thought it over, and I want you to interview three informants in the Bibic City concerning the Nereverine in the Sixth House. First, I want you to speak with Adherner, a Khajiit Thieves Guild operative. Second, I want you to speak with Huleya, an Argonian in Morag Tong. Finally, I want you to speak with Mera Milo, a Temple Priestess. Here, I've written the details down so you won't forget. And here are 200 drakes for bribes and other expenses. Oh, that's so nice of him to think of me and me bribing people. And All right, so that works. Um, I'm going to cut the, uh, the Let's Play off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we will try to continue the main story quest. I'm going to, again, do a few other quests in the meantime. Probably things for the Fighters Guild. That The Fighters Guild leader is kind of a shady bee, but... You know, I'll work with that. And the Mages Guild as well. I don't want to take you on my gathering quests. They take forever. So again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.